Yo, what's good, everybody? It's your boy JTL, aka Out Front and On 18, back with another one. And I got a good one for you. Now, I know I'm going to mess up this name. It's called De Las Morenas. <laughs> Gives advice, says females with male friends are red flags. Now, I'm sure a lot of us guys can agree with that. Certain women might agree with it. They keep it G like we do. So let's go ahead and get into it. But before we do, I need you to do me a favor. All right. So let's get into what this TikToker has to say. And his handle is how to beast. These are three low key red flags in women. Number one, she fails to thank you or show you any type of gratitude. If you're hanging out with a girl and you notice that she never says thank you when you pay for the bill or just to say that she appreciates you, you gotta move on. She's not gonna change and then you're gonna end up resenting her. Now, I think there's a lot of guys that don't seem to get that concept. I mean, you gotta think about it. Like, what kind of feminine woman, appreciative woman would disrespect a man like that, right? That makes no sense whatsoever, but you got a lot of guys that let it slide because they think they're going to change their mind by buying a lot of stuff and kissing the toenails. <laughs> Let's keep going. Number two, she has male friends. Aside from some very rare scenarios, when a guy and a girl are talking, it is not platonic. And even if she's not interested in him, he's probably interested in her. And then she likes having that validation. The point is, if a girl has male friends that she regularly sees or even just texts with, that's the type of girl who's always going to have one foot out the door in a relationship. Number three. And let's talk about that number two, because on some realness, you have females try to play that game. I remember having female friends before that have called me when they got into a relationship with a dude that seen my number or text or something going through a phone. And she's like, go ahead and tell them how uh, we ain't never mess around. Now, if I would have told him the truth, <laughs> he wouldn't have liked it. So I'm like, listen, don't call me with that bullshit. Don't put me in y'all business. Why, why are you doing that? Just, just tell them we never mess around. I'm not gonna lie. We did. So, fellas, be careful about that. Just keep it moving. Don't even try to figure it out. She manipulates you in small ways. If you've already hung out with a girl a few times and she's still down to keep hanging out, but she will literally never text you first, she's low-key trying to force and maintain this dynamic where you're the one who's going to be chasing her forever. When she uses the line, guys I've seen in the past would never do that. She's making you feel bad for whatever boundary you're trying to set with her by talking about guys she's seen in the past. She's trying to force you to be jealous. These are... So, with that being said, that is why I... I'll try to just cross that line like fuck it. <laughs> but I don't mean cross that line like make her do something. I'm not saying that. But I'm just saying kind of, you know, the touchy-feely thing and friendly. If it's not going to go there, then ain't no point of us even dealing with each other no more. Period. So real quick before I end this, I want to go ahead and show some of the comments that people had to say about this video. So says number two true from experience unfortunately one user confess even when married with kids another seemed to agree emphasizing guys and girls cannot be friends they made a whole movie called it when harry met sally one ticker talk one tiktoker weighed in number two is a huge red flag according to manhattan based psychotherapist dana dorfman it's possible for men and women to be just friends but at some point they will think about their relationship past and a certain stage right uh let me see somebody else says okay, i want to go down into the disagreement even so some tiktokers users still could not believe what they were saying couldn't agree less with number two someone arguing in the comments had platonic male friends my whole life and not a single one looked at me that way cap Number two is pure BS. Another viewer declared, I have a lot of platonic male friends and married to my husband, whom I adore and love for 26 years. More cap. Let's just keep it real. Any female willing to cross that line and do that is not a trustworthy one. So fellas out there, make sure you be careful. Do what you need to do. Keep it moving. Find somebody that's interested in you. If they're not, keep it moving. Don't try to be their so-called platonic friend. You know you actually like one word. <laughs> All right. So this is your boy JTL, aka Out From The Norm 18. Make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. I'll be back.